everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I have a cute recipe today and I'm going to challenge myself and it's going to be super easy ube crinkle cookies with chocolate chip. And the challenge is I am going to do from scratch the ube crinkle cookies with chocolate chips. And um, go ahead and get your pen and paper ready and I'll go through the ingredients now and then of course I'll go through it as we go through the video. So for the super easy ube crinkles chocolate chips, okay, it's one box French vanilla mix, okay. So this is why it makes it super easy. It's already here for you, the main ingredient. Two large eggs, two large eggs right here. Six tablespoons of butter. So this is my six tablespoons of butter here at room temperature. One tablespoon ube extract. So this is like gold right now and I was able to get hold of two of these and bring it really close to you. And this is the only brand that I use. And definitely, if you can get a hold of this, yes, make your recipes all right. So that is one tablespoon of ube extract package of white chocolate chips. So this is the chocolate chips that I like the best, Ghirardelli white, cho chi white chocolate chips. And I get these at Walmart or at um, the regular grocers, but Walmart is a little bit cheaper. All right. And of course, some confectioner sugar. All right, so this is actually powdered sugar by CNH. I only use CNH brand. Um, any other brand has cornstarch and it won't work for most of my cookie recipes. All right, so you got that for the super easy Ubi Crinkle <laughs> cookies with white chocolate chips. Okay, from scratch. All right, so there is a major difference on this one from scratch and it involves the ube jam. So from scratch, the ube crinkle cookie with white chocolate chip is one and one half cup of flour. This is my house stock of flour. One teaspoon baking powder. This is baking powder, all right. One four teaspoon salt, there you go. And that is a dry ingredient. So that is one part of the cookie mix. The other part is a wet ingredient, and that is one half cup butter. So here is my butter right here. One fourth cup sugar. Here's my house stock of sugar here. One fourth cup of light brown sugar. So this is what I have. I have light brown sugar, and of course it's by CNH. I don't use any other brand. One large egg, okay. One half cup ube jam. So this is a purple yam jam right here. And I got this at the market the other day. And um, this is a main ingredient that's different from the easy ube crinkle cookies that I gave you earlier. So this is the real stuff right here, okay. One to two teaspoons ube extract. So with my ube extract, I want a strong ube flavor. So one, I'll try one. And if it's not dark enough for me, I'll put in another one. So if you like it light, yes, just put in one. But if you like a really dark one, go ahead and put in two teaspoons. And again, powdered sugar, okay. And then a package of white chocolate chip again. So they're gonna come out looking the same, but um, one is easy and one is from scratch. All right, so let's get started. So I got my mixing bowl here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the super easy one. One box and two more mix. All right, two large eggs. Six tablespoons of butter. Okay. One tablespoon ube extract. All right. 
So it's a unique um, extract, but I've been working with it for about 10 years. And I'm gonna put in one tablespoon. You can see that it's really, really deep purple. Okay. All right, that, that's all you need right now. So let's try to mix it up. I got my handy dandy gloves here. Um, I'm gonna see if I do this by hand, but I also have my stand mixer to go ahead and move it along if it doesn't work out. And I've made cookies, these cookies before plenty of time, so I know it'll work out. But this is my first time making a ube crinkle cookie. But the nice thing is, is the recipe is the same for other kinds of crinkle cookies. So, not to worry. So it's coming along well, the color is coming along well. And it looks like the one tablespoon of ube extract was a good measurement for this particular box of cookies. Ooh, it smells really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the sample up to you. Okay. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick here. Okay, so I am in my home kitchen. So that's the nice thing about these videos is that it is literally home based. I don't have to leave the house, I just have to dress up and then choose the menu for the day is what my friends call it. What's on the menu for today? Can I have some? <laughs> All right, so let me gather this up and show you what I came up with. So this is the batter that I came up with. Doesn't that look pretty? It's so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna sample roll this one for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray the pan and sample roll. So this is my canola oil. And I've noticed when I've made these cookies in the past, sometimes the batter is just kind of sticky. I guess you can put it in the fridge before you roll them but I'll be probably putting them in the fridge after I roll them, just to get them a little bit chilled so that they won't spread much in the oven. Okay, so I'm taking out my sugar just in case I need a little bit of help with it. Because sometimes these things are super sticky. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and wipe my gloves with a little bit of sugar here. It keeps the batter from being super sticky. So I'm gonna take the batter, roll, and there is my first ube. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Put some brown, uh, white sugar on my gloves. Keep it from being super sticky. Roll, there you go. All right, this one has a little bit more sugar, it's okay because eventually they're gonna be all covered in sugar. There you go. So that is the sample recipe for the super easy ube crinkle cookie. So we're gonna put that one to the side and then we're gonna put, I'm gonna finish making them all off the camera and then we're gonna put them in the oven and we'll see how both fared against each other. So the next thing I'm gonna do is now the from scratch, the ube crinkle cookie with white chocolate chip. So here we go from scratch. You ready for this? One and one half cup flour. Okay, so here is my flour. So 
one and one half cup of gold metal flour or any flour, but it's all purpose, okay? So one and one half. All right, so one and one half cup flour. One teaspoon baking powder. Okay, so here is my baking powder. That's gonna go ahead and go in. All right. One fourth teaspoon salt. Okay, one fourth teaspoon salt. Okay, that's my dry ingredient. So I'm gonna go to my wet ingredients and then I'm gonna combine them together. So my wet ingredients is one half cup butter. butter here. Right. One fourth cup sugar. Okay. That's white sugar. One fourth cup white sugar. Then one fourth cup light brown sugar. Oh, it's a lot of sugar. Sorry guys, this is not a diet food for sure. Okay, one fourth cup light brown sugar. One large egg. Okay, one large egg. One half cup ube jam. All right, so we got that purple ube jam. Let me show you a close up of it. And that is what it is. Isn't that pretty? I always like looking at ube. So some friends love ube, some don't care for it. So this is for the ube lovers, these cookies, okay? So one half cup ube jam. Okay, one half cup ube jam. One to two teaspoons ube extract. So, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put in two teaspoons. I want a strong ube flavor. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Because if I only put in one, I might forget to put in two, the second one later. So I'm just gonna go ahead. It won't ruin it, it'll just enhance it if you put too much ube, but one to two teaspoons ube extract, but I chose to put in two. Okay, so powdered sugar for rolling, and of course, package of white chocolate chip. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix around the dry ingredient. Just move it around a little bit. Next, I'm gonna mix around the wet ingredient. Mix that up, give it a good, good mix. So it is a beautiful, beautiful, dark ube feel and color here. And I'll show you after I'm done aggressively mixing this with my hand. So as you can see, I decided not to use my stand-up mixer. Um, so it looks like it's going to be okay if you're just going to do this mix with your hand. It might work faster and create less mess. <laughs> All right, so this is a beautiful ube color. Let me bring it up to you. That is an ube wet ingredient for the from scratch crinkles. All right, so here we go. We're going to add the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients. You ready for this? <laughs> I'm always nervous when I have to add the final stuff. Okay, so here we go. So here's a good picture of the wet ingredients, ube with the ube jam and two teaspoons of ube extract. Those are the star ingredients. Okay, here we go. Let's see what kind of mess I can generate with all this. 
just by mixing it that it needs a little bit more help with the butter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another tablespoon so this is where when you get it have when you challenge yourself you have to kind of know what you're doing so I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of butter And let's see how that goes because I could tell the difference in the batter compared to the batter I just did for the easy ube. Okay, so I'm going to add one more tablespoon of butter. Okay, give that a mix. Okay, so it's feeling better already, but I think I have to add, based on what I know how a cookie should feel like, I think I have to add one more tablespoon. Okay, so I'm gonna add one more tablespoon. tablespoon is going to do it, but let's see what happens. All right, so in addition to the original recipe, we're adding two more tablespoons. Okay, so I really think that's going to do it, so let's go ahead and Move that around a little bit. Yes. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. So when I write the ingredients down on the Dropbox, on the YouTube site, you'll see that um, my original quote of recipe will be changed from one half cup butter to one half cup plus two tablespoons of butter. All right, let me bring this up to you. All right, so here you go. Here is the dough for the from scratch ube crinkle cookie with white chocolate chips. And I'll show you how. I'm gonna put in the white chocolate chips later. So this is ready for rolling. Get all this mess out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. All right, ready for this? So just like the other one, I can tell that I don't need much sugar right now. Let's just let's just put some on. And there you go. So these feel really good. They feel stiff and soft at the same time. Sprinkle a little bit sugar on them. Sprinkle a little bit sugar on the dough. Okay. 
Okay, and I am going to label which one is which. They both kind of look the same. Oh boy. Okay, so anyway, so this is my super easy ube crinkle cookie with white chocolate chip. And this is from scratch, the ube crinkle cookies with white chocolate chip. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish rolling them, put them in the oven about 15, 20 minutes, and I'll see you in a little bit. All right. So these just came out of the oven. I had them at about 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. So every oven is different. And it's interesting how the um, one from scratch turned out versus the one that is easier to do. So we'll compare the both. So what I did is I went ahead and I took my white chocolate chips and kind of pushed them into the right when they came out. I just got done kind of putting all the white chocolate chips on top of the cookies here. And best to do it when they're still hot because now that they've been out for hmm, 10 minutes, it's harder to push the chocolate chips in. And um, I don't wanna do it mid cook because I don't want the white chocolate chips melted and not look like a chip. It'll probably look like a glaze. All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle more powdered sugar on top, make it look even more pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, not too much, because I don't hide the chocolate chip, but just enough to make it look really, really pretty. Okay, so that is the easy ube crinkle cookie. That was one that I made um, not from scratch. Okay, and this is the ube challenging ube crinkle cookie that's from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and put these sugar on here. So both look really, really pretty. So let's compare this one here. So this one, this is the one that, the easy one that came from the French vanilla box and they look so pretty. Wow, I don't even wanna eat them because they're so pretty. So let's open one up and see what it looks like on the inside. Let's see if I can open up. This one looks like a good one to open up. Wow, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous looking one. All right, so very formed at the top. Okay, you can see that they're all formed very well. Okay, they flattened out well, but not too flat. There still has a lot of height to it. And then the bottoms are a little bit brown, but not too brown, okay? And then this is the inside of the cookie. So crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. So this is more of a cake cookie and that's what crinkle cookies are known for. So get a really, really close up picture of this one. Oh wow, that's so pretty. So definitely, if you want the easy way out, this is something definitely to do and your family and friends will be impressed if they love ube. Now let's compare it to the challenging one. So this is a challenging one. This is the one with the ube halaya or ube jam. And this is purple yam jam. We talked about this earlier. And so this is a real stuff right here. Did it come from a box? It came made from scratch. So let's look at some of them. So, um, okay, so this one looks like a good one right here. So it has a nice bottom, kind of thick, okay, it has crinkles in it and then it has a white chocolate chip that I put in it, all right, and here is another one, okay, nice bottom, thick, here is one, another one, but I have to warn you, if you handle them too roughly right out of the oven, they start to break off, so definitely these are delicate cookies. All right, so we're just gonna stick that together there. <laughs> Hopefully it stays together. And here is another one. Okay, nice stick, nice bottom. Another one. Okay, 
And here is another one that I was too rough with and it broke off. But look at the inside. Inside is nice. Here is one that I went ahead and took a bite out of. But this is a very nice purple. Let's see if I can get it on. You, you, there you go. There you go. But um, crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. So when I'm munching into this one, it reminds me of eating um, ube pastillas from the Philippines or ube polverone. So um, we definitely like that kind of uh, taste, kind of um, cake, but a little bit dry taste that comes from pastillas and polverone. So definitely, if you really want to make it from scratch and really want that taste, this is definitely something that you want to do. Um, here is just a little bit more but you could see this one turned out to be a little bit tall so if they turn out to be a little bit tall while they're cooking it's okay to slowly kind of smash them so what I did with the other ones I kind of just slowly smash them right out of the oven but you got to be careful because you don't want them to break so I slowly smash the ones I showed you earlier and then these I kind of left alone because I didn't want to break any more. Here is another one. And here is another one. Okay. So that is the comparison and the challenge between the easy ube cookie crinkle and the challenging from scratch ube cookie crinkle. So um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So about 10 cookies from that easy cookie crinkle box and then about the same for the from scratch about 10 cookies so um, you'll be working hard if you make a lot of these for your parties um, I say make it beforehand and try them before you actually bring them to a party to see if it's a good enough recipe that you would like to share at a party um, because it is ube and they are temperamental sometimes but I got lucky that the one from from the box turned out perfect and of course the one from scratch was a challenge and um, if you want that taste where it's kind of like I said like a polverone this is perfect for you all right so um, I think in the future when I do go to big parties I'm just gonna make it easy on myself and do the easy easy ones this is my choice for the day all right. Well, thank you for listening. Please take care.